Low tide is the best time to really look at an ocean floor and kind of understand how the waves work and how the movement of water happens. And basically you see here, this is a sandy beach. It's not reef, there's no rock bottom. And it's a low tide and it's a perfect example. This hump right here, you'll kind of see water moving through this channel. And then you'll see this distinct hump. This is what we call, the surfers call a sandbar. And what happens is waves travel for miles and miles and miles. And you notice you never see waves breaking way out in the horizon. That's because they have nothing to break on. And eventually they come in and if this were underwater, they would hit something like this, a sandbar, a hump. And they would basically fall forward. I picture it like, imagine a little kid running through a field. They're not gonna trip really, there's nothing to trip on. But if that little kid eventually hits a little hump or a rock, they'll basically trip forward and fall forward. That's exactly what waves are doing. And actually, you think that sandbars are really important, and when there's no sandbar, like here, there's a lack of sandbar, that that wouldn't be good for surfers? It actually is. The sandbar is good for waves. The waves break on that sandbar. But this is called a channel between sandbars. That's as important if you've ever tried to paddle out into big waves. You want this channel to paddle through. Waves don't break where there's no sandbar. And so it's kind of like a free elevator pass right back out to the, uh, to the waves. So here you'll catch your wave on the sandbar and you'll paddle back out through this channel. And obviously once the tide gets high, you'll probably see actually this, you'll probably see waves breaking right on this sandbar. And there might even be a couple guys on it. Remember, if you're struggling with science in your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. Pass it there and the uh, credits will be transferred back to your school. Thanks.